Check this out. This is Novus. Novus, Jody and Hazy. Well, welcome to the podcast. Uh, this is what it sounds like to be a winner. Jody and Hazy. No, 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 that's that's not fair. I mean, we're not keeping score. But if we were, and you're only as good as your last contest, well, then I guess, ladies and gentlemen, we do have a winner. It's one all, mate. Yeah, I know. I'm Settle saying, the hell down. You're only as good as your last contest. Oh, for goodness sake. That's I, what they say. You've worked out a tactic too, I think. You just wait for me to work out the song and sing it, and then you come up with the title. It's I'm a- not sure that's what's going on, but hey, you be the judge for yourselves. Oh, round two. Here we go. And welcome to the booth, Producer Zoe. Good morning. Okay. Who are we playing for this morning? Yeah, we've got a couple of callers on that you guys will be playing for. Okay. You've got Hayley. Hazy. Good morning, Hayley. Well Hi, done. Hayley. Hey, Hazy. Hey, Joe. How are you? Great. Thank you. You cho- chose Andrew. That was an interesting selection. <laughs> Oh, no, I've got faith in him. He's Aww. got a great voice. He's going to bring it home. Aww. Thank you so much, Hayley. Nice. That's nice. And then on Team Joe's, we've got Cassie. Hey, Cass. Woo! Got yeah. it, Jody. All right, let's you do totally this. Got it. Yes, let's yeah. do it, babe. <laughs> hey, also, um, you were second to the party there, Cassie. Would you have always, would you have also chosen me if you had an option? <laughs> um, second is the best. <laughs> <laughs> I'm setting myself up for a really, really bad loss, aren't I? All right, so this is how it works. Basically, we've uh, orchestralised a song that you would hear on Nova and we have to jump in with our name as our buzzer. That's right. And name the song the artist. Is that a word too, by the way, orchestralised? It is now. It's, it is. it's a classical Nova hit. Because truthishly, I'm not even sure. Truthishly. <laughs> 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 All right, should we get in on it? Let's do it. Here Hazy's song okay. number one. Go. Let's oh, go. Who okay. else is shaking? Here we go. Oh, my gosh. Jody got in first. Sorry, Jodes, go on. That is uh, that is Ed Sheeran. <laughs> I haven't thrown up in so long. <laughs> I'm on my way. Uh, too long. It is hazy. Too long. Ed Sheeran. Song name. Castle on the Hill. Because you know what? I did all the hard work for you. I came up with Ed, I sang half the song, and then you just sweep in at last minute, Bradbury. I think we were all pretty aware straight away that it was an Ed Sheeran song, but we just (laughs) needed the title. Hey, Hayley, one zip to the good guys. Yes. Yes. (laughs) All right. One right. zip, Hazy, and it's first to two, so Jones, you've got to bring it back I feel, like, I feel like Queensland in the state of origin. And also, you're very judgy this morning. Can I just say that? <laughs> oh, someone's under pressure. <laughs> Hazy, <laughs> song number two. Let's go. Here we go. Hang on, hang on. I think it's coming to me. I think it's coming to me. Um, oh, come on. Oh, Jody. Oh, is it? There's nothing holding me back. No, that no, was last that week. That was last week, you Jody. Absolutely. I'm not recycling my oh, material. Okay. <laughs> okay. How, right, how much time can I have on this? Nah, come on. No, you, you don't get a chance and then just. Well, there's not much happening right now. I'm just trying to work out. I would have go. It's, it's, definitely, it's definitely not Andrea Bocelli, is it? <laughs> <laughs> can I phone a friend? I reckon you can phone a friend. Okay, I phone Abby. Abby, don't, Abby? don't. Abby, give me, the, give me. Okay, she can give me the artist at least. How do you not know this? I will once you tell us. Is this allowed? All right, I'm gonna get Abby to give you the artist, and you can both buzz in with a song. Okay. Name. All right, ready? Go, yeah. Justin Bieber. Hey, Z. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Jodes. Have you got anything? Come on, Jodes. I'm calling. That's zip to both of you. It was. What do you? There we go. (laughs) What is this song? I'm not angry. I'm just disappointed. (laughs) No one has ever heard this song. Is this a new song? (laughs) (laughs) Jodes, you heard this song? 
<sighs> oh my god, this was I... a song that genuinely launched Justin Bieber into a cool yeah. space. Yeah, and you say that regularly, so I'm disappointed. Oh my god, I'm disappointed. You know what? Yourself. I know it's I know it's one zip up hazy. We've got one song left. This is going to be the winner. I've okay. caught it. I'm... No, you can't do that. Why not? Yes, you can't can. do that because it's already one zero. So look, this is what's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> So, look, I think I'm just going to go throw this out there and make the rules on right. If it's a draw, then we either split the voucher or they get a voucher each. Okay. All right. You can't fine. just turn okay, up to game fine. three and be like, oh, oh, you know what Zoe used to play at school? Oh, last last goal wins. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm up by 10 goals, Zoe. Okay, all right. Fine. All right. Fire Goodness it up. Song sake. three. Go on. Go. Song three. Jody. What? If you gave me a yeah, chance, come on, I, need... I could take I'll it. I'll take a name it's or... a shot in the dark. Oh, just... uh... Hazy, can you come in with the win? Uh... <laughs> 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 okay, I'll get it. Oh. Oh. Uh, it's Gautier. No, I, know I, know, that. I know what it is now. I will take either a name. Okay, rather be. I'll take it. No, 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 no. It's got to be full name and artist. No, it doesn't. Clean Bandit, rather be. Hey, Sam! Why is that Come over here, Jody. Have a look. Have a look. Have a look. It's not. That is a clean win for Andrew Hayes. Well done. Hang on a second, what just happened there? I just blacked out for the last 45 <laughs> seconds. Did something amazing happen? I think you might have just oh won the bread for Hayley. Congratulations, Hayley. Yay. We did it, Hayley. Oh, Sorry, Cass. Well done, oh, mate. Okay. Uh, good stuff. All right. That's, um, that was intense. Is your heart pounding? Yeah, and I just, I get the, I get the, I get the lyrics and then I can't get the song I name. Why is it so hard? I know. Why is it so hard? I reckon Jody Warp so you could run in that one. Thank you very yeah. much. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yeah, somehow, Joey's done something oh, good now. Oh, I'm sorry. Is that Andrew Hayes piggybacking on me? <laughs> That's all right. It's yeah. one or two, by the way. We're not keeping score until now. <laughs> <laughs> Adelaide's Jody and Hazy on Nova. Good morning, Adelaide. What day is it? It Tuesday, is Tuesday, it? Tuesday for Tuesday those good. playing Perfection. along at home. Sorry. Is that a mental blank then? Yeah. Um, do you know who else has had a big night? Abby in the newsroom. Yeah. How are you feeling this morning, What's happened? I'm a little tired. I've what? been listening to a murder podcast yeah. and I can't sleep because <laughs> I've scared myself. Why do you do this to yourself? <laughs> Why do you repeatedly do it? I don't know because I'm obsessed and it's so interesting. Right. Um, Anyway, and then I left for work this morning. I was in my car and I could have sworn someone was standing on the road and I, like, freaked <laughs> the absolute hell out and yeah. was like, oh, my God, I'm about to die. Yeah. Anyway. That's a great way to start your Tuesday. I know. Yes. That. Oh, Don't mind me. That's... I'm just obsessed. I can't stop. Right. I just, I, I, you know when you go, you know when you know that you shouldn't do something and then you just press play yeah. and yep. you just continue on? I just think for your mental and <laughs> emotional well-being, you should probably cease and desist with the true crime. Yeah, yeah that I just, sounds about right. I yeah. need to, but it's just not going to happen. Yeah, yeah. At, at least when you're driving off in your car and you saw the murderer waving to her, you had probably, I don't know, Point of No Return by Ricky Lee playing on Nova. Yeah. And that yeah. would change your mood. You got you back up and about. Yeah, yeah. and then I put the podcast back on five minutes later. Yeah, <laughs> goodness me. It's such a roller coaster for you, Abby, yeah. isn't it? Anyway, I, can you explain this to me? Twitter has rebranded to X. What yeah. does that even mean? Well, it means the bird's dead. The bird oh. <laughs> is officially extinct. It's like, hey, Elon, what else can you do to try and ruin what was such a strong, unbelievable, iconic platform? Is that what it feels like? Ab? Well, that's he's freaked out because Threads has come up and everyone's jumping bored to Threads. What is Threads? Threads is a, a Insta or Meta, sorry, which is the parent company of Instagram and Facebook, have started Threads to, to basically go, Threads is going to be the new platform where you can talk because Twitter's such a dumpster fire. Yep. So everyone jump across here to us. So then Elon's gone, oh, we need to do something to counteract this. So, oh, we'll, we'll, kill yeah. we'll kill the bird. We'll kill the bird. Let me fix it. Let me just dumb it down for you, ladies. You've got two blokes with a lot of money. That's Zuckerberg <laughs> and Musk. Mm. Swinging there, you know what. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, there's not much swing. So, no. yeah, they're trying to win by this sort of battle. Have they had the you, cage fight yet? No, not yet. But did you see the photo of, um, what's his face? Facebook. Oh, what's his name again? Uh, it's gone. Uh, Zuckerberg, isn't yeah. he? Yeah. Did you see the topless photo of him? Oh, is he looking good? He's got a rig and a half yeah, on him. There you well, go. He's been training, hasn't he, for the cage fight? Well, I don't know if it's going to go ahead, but. Yeah. Okay. Interesting anyway, we'll stuff. See. Oh. All right, then. Okay. Hang on. That had a bit of everything, didn't yeah, it? It really did. <laughs> hey, big show coming up. 
Harry Styles, who's just finished his two-year tour. Two years he's been on tour. I think he would have made some money. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, he's not going to do two years on the road and not make a bit of cash or nothing. Yeah, maybe in one or two dollars. Uh, this is our song for Nova's uh, Cash or the Car. Share of 10K instant cash for a chance to win a brand new MG valued at 20K. I just got a feeling that this song's going to play very, very soon. Mm, oh, like, okay. Really soon. Like how soon? Do you get that feeling? I get the same feeling. Yeah, that good old-fashioned feeling. With longer opening hours, online applications and lenders that come to you, do it your way. Visit creditunionsa.com.au. Do you know already in my head I'm trying to calculate a way we can scare the absolute bejesus out of Abby yeah. somehow? Okay. Okay. Yeah, right. Anyway, don't tell her. Okay. Um, <laughs> she seems to be scared of murderers. <laughs> For great deals and cheeky getaways, whatif.com has just the place. A winter hideaway is great, but bring on spring. Jump on the What If app to book hotels, apartments, holiday rentals and more. What If it's Aussie for travel. I'll tell you what, Jodie Oddie, mm. if some random found your phone and they started going through it, would they be shocked? Oh, I don't think so. There's only one sort of raunchy selfie that I took and sent to my husband, but apart from that, that's about it. Oh, okay. <laughs> more on that, please. <laughs> Jeez. Thought, no, was, right, right, just, right, Greg. I was just having a day when my cleavage looked really good, so I was like, oh, "I'll oh, enjoy that." Yeah, here, here you go, Greg. Incoming shot of Jody's jugs. <laughs> <laughs> Classic. Uh, get involved this morning. Thirteen twenty four ten. The outrageous lists that we keep as humans. What about this? A bloke who attended a really popular Aussie snow destination lost his phone. It was found on the front was a life goal list, nine different things that he wanted to achieve as a young man, and they are bloody embarrassing. So, hang on, it wasn't even in his phone. You didn't have to punch in a code. It was just, <laughs> like, literally on his front his, cover. It was his lock screen. You need no security <laughs> to get in and understand this bloke's a bit of a twat. <laughs> All right, should we go through? Go on, Should then. we go through his little life goals? Yes, They're please. interesting. Number one, get jacked and be 87 kilos. 87? <laughs> 87 specifically. Right, okay. Yeah, it's a big not, number. Not 88, yeah, not get, 86. You're guessing he's hovering around 80 kilos and he's probably on uh, pre-workout and all <laughs> those sorts of things. Maybe he's on a bit of extra testosterone just to get him there. Yeah. Seems perhaps. like that sort of character. Yeah. And number two, quit all nicotine. Good. Sensible. Uh, number three, have $25,000 in the bank account. That's, that's, that's sensible. That's okay. That's yeah. good. Yeah. Uh, number four, have a motorbike. There he goes. <laughs> oh, see you, buddy. <laughs> Um, uh, I mean, motorbikes are such sensible life decisions, aren't they? Yeah. I, mean, I'm, I don't mean to judge anyone who is riding a motorbike as we speak, but they seem a little unsafe to me. Yeah, also, you listening to the radio on a motorbike? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, dangerous. Number five, get good at fighting. <laughs> get good at fighting. Oh, where, where is he? Where, what is he? Does he live in the octagon, does he? Oh, he's that guy at my gym who just stands there and shadow boxes yeah. to himself. Yeah, got to get good at fighting because you never know. Uh, number six, get good marks at uni. That's actually quite sensible. Yep. Uh, number seven, and you're going to like this one. I just feel like you're going to absolutely support this one because you're not going to frown upon it at all. Have three girls on a roster. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so a rotation system. Yeah. And, wow. And rounds it out by, uh, I don't know, this is a strange one, number eight, don't get a haircut for three months. Well, he's not going to have three random. girls on the roster then. Yeah, if he exactly does right. That. The roster one is really, really <laughs> interesting though, isn't it? Um, I've got a little, a few little life goals for 2023 as well, top three. Have you? Yep. Do you mind if I just rattle them out? Because oh. we're an open... We're in an open community here. We can support each other. This is a safe space for you. Yeah. Uh, number three, name newborn son. Incoming yes. son in October. Yes. Got three first name options. You yep. got... Jason, you've got Francis, and then Horn. <laughs> Little Horn Hayes, probably option number three. Uh, number two, become mates with Ryan Fitzgerald. <laughs> <laughs> I'm chipping away at that. I'm chipping away at that. You'll wear him down eventually. Yeah, that's Just a plan. setting up a tent outside his new no longer pad, though, is a bit extreme, I would have thought. He's probably got security, though. It's a bit of a, it's quite a, uh, it's quite a fort down there that he's building. And stop texting BJ as well. <laughs> stop it. <laughs> I call it Beach. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And number one, um, get drafted into the AFL <laughs> <laughs> the age of 38. Yeah. Um, 13, 24, 10, the unusual lists on your phone. Get involved this morning. Anyone who gets on air gets in the draw for our winter weekend escaped. 
And I reckon we probably need to speak to producer Zoe next on this one. Oh, yeah, okay. she's got a very, very well. She had oh, she it better be a had a very interesting <laughs> list. Right. All right, thirteen twenty four ten. We put the question out there before the unusual, outrageous lists on your phone, or maybe you've got some wacky life goals. Yeah. After a bloke lost his phone at the snow, <laughs> and some life goals in the front of his phone. Uh, were discovered, and some of them are outrageous. There was eight of them, a few in particular, were just ridiculous. One, uh, number five, rather, get better at fighting. Yep. Um, number one, get jacked and be 87 <laughs> kilos. And number seven, your favourite, have three girls on a rotating roster. <laughs> <laughs> Deary me. I mean, do people even... How, what is this guy thinking? Yeah, I'm not sure. Mm, I've got a couple in my phone. Oh, yeah? Want to hear them? These life goals? These life goals, yeah. yeah. Uh, first one is takes on your Kruger's job. That's uh, imminent. Uh, yeah. Second one, don't marry any more Greg's. <laughs> And the third one is unique. Have a baby with uh, Shamira Sterling yeah. from the Thunderbirds. All very unrealistic. <laughs> Aww. Come on. <laughs> no, you, you don't think I'm going to host the Logies anytime soon? No, I think you will eventually marry another Greg. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, Greg, of course. Uh, let's go to uh, Anastasia and Mawson Lakes. Good morning, Anastasia. Good morning, guys. How are you today? Yeah, going very We're well, good. thanks. Take us, take us inside your phone. Yeah. Okay, well, mine has got a mixologist. Yep. I want to dabble in cocktails and also um, entrees to match with a cocktail. <laughs> oh, okay, Tom Cruise. <laughs> <laughs> um, and how is it progressing, Anastasia? Not too bad. I'm just at the beginning stages. I've looked up a few classes and um, looked at the smoke machines and how much it's going to cost to get my little bar set up. Oh, so, um, wow. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Anastasia, promise us yes. that when everything's set up... <laughs> That we can have a party and we get invited. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> oh, I love that for you, Anastasia. That's good. That's perfect. That works. Um, excuse me, producer Zoe. Good morning. Did you have a list? True or false? <laughs> yeah. Just be open. <laughs> just just know, Zoe, that when we speak, we're open, we're honest, and we're mm. very caring and instantly forgiving. It feels wrong on the back of Anastasia's really wholesome list of wanting to become a mixologist. But yeah, I had a list. What was it? I sort of list. Go on. Give some details. Uh, look, uh, it was peer pressure. <laughs> All my friends were doing it. I had a list of... All, all the boys I've k- kissed. Really? <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with that? <laughs> Mom, turn off. Um, I know, Abby, it, there's a lot wrong with it, I think, That's, actually. No, it's I, normal. No. I think most girls yeah, do that. Yeah, it is school a thing. was. Yeah. Well, his, a kiss yeah. list. Ki- yeah. A, ki- Kiss, kiss, yes, kiss. kiss. Um, one of my girlfriends has like a scoring system on her notes list as well. <gasps> Who she kissed? Score. Wow. Mm. Goodness me. What's a rating? The kiss. Rating the kiss out of ten, yeah. or yeah. Going, like genuine details. A few notes as well. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Do you reckon a there's a few points. lists out there with Andrew Hayes's name? I reckon there might be. <laughs> with a rating. What's a rating? <laughs> yeah. Rating. Yeah. I'll give. I'll give him a seven <laughs> out of thirty. <laughs> hey, so why did you stop making a list? Because that's embarrassing. Sorry, Abs, it's embarrassing. Also, I have a boyfriend. Did you, <laughs> did you run out of pens? <laughs> <laughs> the biggest breaking story this town has ever seen is huge. This is so juicy. Jody's Juice. Taylor Swift, who's on the American leg of her blockbuster Eras tour, performed her Kanye West diss track, This Is Why We Can't Have Nice Things, for the first time since 2018 during her concert on Saturday night. And she let let out an epic cackle during the song, which appeared on her Reputation album. Take a listen. Like uh, you, when you get that sort of witchy cackle going, <laughs> you know, it genuinely you, comes mm, from the soul. Really made me laugh when I witchy cackle. Yeah, mm. like um, Kanye laughed when the paparazzi stopped him at his house. Yeah, hey, good morning, Kanye. Shut the f- up. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't laughing that morning, was he? No, he certainly wasn't. Uh, the project hosts were left mortified during Sunday night's episode after Bliss and Esso rapper Esoteric detailed a horrific hand injury sustained from one of his gigs. Yes. So you could see the hosts were like visibly upset because he's got one of those um, hyper-mobile thumbs that can yeah. bend right back. I can't watch it. I can't deal with any fingers bending back, all that sort of behaviour, but have a listen. Yeah, I mean, pinpoint the exact moments where it really goes back into an awkward spot. Ooh. This is what my thumb does now. You got a good look at this? Oh, yeah, no, I can't see it. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> 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 
How good are fingers? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Do you know I've dislocated every single finger? Have you? And broken two of them. Really? One of them I dislocated, obviously playing football, where the ball hit me, couldn't quite get my hands in the right spot. Classic. Uh, and the bone came out the bottom of the skin. Oh, my God. Yep. That's, and what did you do when you looked down and saw that? <laughs> just laughed. <laughs> <laughs> was, oh, cool. You're Got nine more. So, you're so tough. No, I reckon I'm probably, I might have cried a little bit. I, <laughs> oh, I yeah. reckon. All right, let's go on to Tom Brady, shall we? Yeah. Oh, he's saying, Juicy. Juicy. Seems to have a new love interest in his life. So TMZ is reporting that the former quarterback and Irina Shake spent a romantic weekend together. Oh, Shakesy. Uh, <laughs> With Brady, Brady at one point being captured stroking her cheek and her um, caught staying the night at his place. Stroking her cheek? Yeah. And, and what, was she purring while he was doing that? I <laughs> don't know. don't know. don't have the detail. Yeah. Um, so they said that he picked her up from the Hotel Bel Air and drove to his place and then they walked in together and then they she dropped her back the next morning mm. doing the walk of shame. So what do you reckon happened in between? Oh, I don't know. They, they had some twisties. Yeah. It's yeah. almost like, hey, come in my room. Mm. Watch this. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Here's Super Bowl, the third time we won it. <laughs> yeah. Now watch this. It goes for three hours. <laughs> watch it. <laughs> and Irina nods off. Uh, dear. So there we go. That could be a new supermodel romance happening. Okay. Juicy. Juice. And just finally, Posh Spice Victoria Beckham has belted out the 1996 Spice Girls hit, Say You'll Be There, um, amongst a group of party girls. A bit of karaoke from Posh. <laughs> Yeah, was, so that she might be slightly <laughs> inebriated. There was uh, always speculation that she had the weakest voice in the Spice Girls, <laughs> and there we have confirmation, folks. And there's some confirmation. <laughs> and the English accent coming yeah. through as well. Totally. Yeah, fight not too far away from there. If you want some, I'll give it you. You do with me. <laughs> if you want some, I'll give it you. <laughs> That's what po- Posh said slightly after that. Yeah. About five minutes after that. Yeah. Oh, good stuff. Yeah. It's Jody's Juice. And that's Jody's Juice. Showdown tickets not too far away as well. Um, the code word this morning is... 54. 54. Why'd you wait till I had a sip of my copy <laughs> to ask me that? Oh, Why sure. did you wait till that exact moment? Just keeping you guessing, keeping you on your toes. Oh, you, I mean, there's... Right. Pop, pop, pop. Hey, coffee, <laughs> I can't even speak now. Coffee time. Actually, keep drinking that coffee, please. <laughs> <laughs> Kids can be brutally honest. So brutal. Oh, my gosh. Not with, like, the intent to be, but they, they just can be. Yeah. And they can be little psychos, and the stuff that comes out of their mouth can be awful. Yeah, and it really, really pierces your heart. What's happened? So we were on holiday a couple of weeks ago and it was a chance for me to take Henry to school each and every day for two weeks straight. That's so lovely. Yes. By midweek of the second week, Henry almost pulled me aside and said, Dad, Dad, I think I want Mum to take me to school now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. It genuinely nearly floored me. Oh, no. And then w- without explanation. Yeah. But then Cara did explain to me, she's probably lying to save my heart. Mm. Uh, he wants to, uh, me to take him so she can take Lottie as well because he wants Lottie to play before they go into school. I'm not buying it. Nah. I think he's just half broken up with oh, me. It really geez. hurts my soul. It's happened a couple of times as well. How's he going to go when there's another little haze? Oh in my the world? gosh. Well, that'll sort him out, won't it? Yeah. What about uh, last night as well? Um, he drew Lottie a little picture. Mm. Because Lottie was being an absolute you-know-what. Yeah. <laughs> Lottie accepted the picture, threw it on the ground and jumped on it. <laughs> um, so that broke his heart. Yeah. And then I said, mate, I like it. I love it. I love this picture. What is it? What does it take me through it? He yeah. said, right, I will. At in the corner is Princess Elsa. Okay. And those three people, that's me, Lottie and mum. <laughs> and I said, well, dad didn't get a gig? He said, oh, no, well, you're always at work. Oh, went, oh my what? God. Yes. That I, kills you. And I reckon the most heartbreaking conversation was when he's starting to get in football. Mm. And he said, Dad, did you play for Port Adelaide? <laughs> <laughs> and I said, no, mate, I didn't. I played for the Bulldogs. And he said, oh, the Western Bulldogs. <laughs> and I had to say, no, no, no mate. No, no, not in the AFL. And then he genuinely said, why didn't you play in the AFL? And I'd oh, say, hey, my God. I wasn't good enough. <laughs> I wasn't good enough. He's just got your heart in his hands and he's just like squeezing the life out of it. juggling. He's like, da, 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 da. <laughs> um, I had one the other day. I popped home from work during the day in between here and Channel 10 mm. and walked in the door 
and Harper, the three-year-old, looked at me and she said, when are you going back to work? Whoa. Like that. And I was like, oh, she doesn't, great. She doesn't want me around. And then I realised I'd misunderstood her because she said, because you never stay long enough and you always go back to work. Oh, wow. Oh. She's right too. <laughs> You're a terrible mother. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, that escalated, oh, didn't it? Doesn't it get, I mean, an adult could say anything they want to me. Yeah. Pretty much anything. Yeah. But then your kid says something to you, which is really much more innocent. You're like, oh, oh God, your knees because, go all wobbly. Yeah, because there's no filter. Absolutely no filter. They yeah. just say exactly what's in their heart and soul. Yeah. And and, and all of our children think we're terrible because yeah. we're always at work. And also, I think we can all mutually agree that most adults in my life, I, I, I hate them. <laughs> <laughs> 13, 24, 10, the heartbreaking things that your kids have said to you because... Yeah. Oh, just get it out there. Be open and honest, and we'll get through this together. I reckon. Okay, let's just hold hands during the song. So uh, we are talking this morning, right now, thirteen twenty four ten. The heartbreaking things that your kids have told you. Henry's just been so brutal with me lately, mm. um, and it's, it's honesty. He's yeah. not trying to offend me. No. Um, but take your pick. I mean, some of the things, uh, apart from him saying, I'd rather mum take me to school from now on, mm. versus, hey, Dad, why didn't you play AFL football? Mm. Oh, he really hammered down on that one. And I yeah. was like, well, listen, son, uh, sometimes it's a draft, and there's a big draft. Yeah. And there was maybe six or seven years where I was trying to get myself drafted. And yeah. I tell you what, I said, tell you what, son, politics. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 13, 24, 10, we are asking the question, what are the brutal things that your kids have said to you? Mm, let's go to Jade in Elizabeth North. Good morning, Jade. Good morning. How are you guys? Going very well. Uh, unload. Uh, what did he or she say? Uh, she turned around and told me I need to stop eating or I'm going to be as round as the dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What sort of dog is it? A sausage dog. Oh, yeah, right. Okay. No. Oh. <laughs> it's just not a very fair comparison. Oh, thank you, Joe. No. Yeah. My body's a lot more compact. <laughs> Goodness so me. So how do you respond to that, Jade? What, what, what's your response in that situation? I just told her she's mean. I had nothing. Yeah. 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 That'll do. She's You're got, mean. You've got to give it back to her. Yeah. yeah it happens. Alison mm. from Torrance Park. Good morning. Hi. Morning. What did your daughter say? Oh, one day she looks at me dead in the eyes and she, without any emotion, just said, Mum, when you're dead, can I have the house? <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Oh. Just future thinking. That's nice. Yeah. Wow. Straight up. And wow. Then, so now, do you keep an eye on an hour and you're sort of half thinking, is she plotting my murder? <laughs> no, luckily we don't live in that house anymore. Okay. Right. If you find her rifling through the filing cabinet looking for the uh, the deed to the house and your life insurance policy, then we've got a real issue <laughs> yeah. here. Thanks, Alison. Yeah. Uh, Mandy from Renown Park. Hi, how you going, guys? Good, thank you. What did your son say? Oh, he's just a terror. I was, he was about three, maybe nearly four, and I was singing him a lullaby, and he's like, Mummy, nice. Mummy, please stop. You're hurting my ears. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay. soothing you. <laughs> a, I'm a and the good bugger, mum. And when we're driving and I'm humming, he's like, just go. Just go. Oh, He's oh, nearly dear. 16 now. It's like, just you're a real so a bugger. <laughs> it's really nice feedback, isn't it? Yeah. yeah thanks, kids can Mandy. be so brutal and honest. Uh, I, I'll tell you what, actually. So kids, when I uh, used to play music back in the day, yeah. kids... They're the barometer. Yeah, right. They are the barometer whether you're doing a good job or not. Yeah. So most kids, particularly sort of three to five, will get right around it. They'll sort of, sort of start dancing and they'll sit in the middle of the stage, particularly at the Lion Hotel, and they'll look at you like you're a genuine rock star. Yeah. There was one, <laughs> there was one time <laughs> and I was hung over as hell too. <laughs> so I was like, oh, I think I sound pretty awful, but maybe it's just me. Yeah. The kid turned up in the middle of the stage and was dead set, was looking at me with his fingers plugged into his ears. <laughs> I was like, that's the feedback I needed. <laughs> we can all agree that I suck today. Oh, dearie <laughs> me. Wait a minute, Doc. Are you telling me you built a time machine? Hazy's on this daisy. Tuesday, and you've shook off those post-weekend blues, and you're back into the working week, building up towards a showdown. I mean, four. some people say shaking off, but you do you, boo. Shook it off. Mm -hmm. I think you can say that. Okay. Shooken. I didn't say shooken. <laughs> Shook it off. 
<laughs> uh, let's take a little trip down memory lane for On This Daisy, 25th of July. Let's go back to 2021. Australia wins women's 4 by 100 metre relay for third straight Olympics. And the team set a new world record in Tokyo. Who was in the team? That's a great question. I know. If you do know the answer. 13, 2014. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. Texas as well. 0409199. <laughs> Probably Susie O'Neill. Probably Susie. Probably not. It was two years ago. <laughs> I would say Ariana Titmus. I thought you were going to say Ariana Grande for a second. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> 2010 British TV series Sherlock debut starring Benedict Cumberbatch. It just sort of feels like Benedict Cumberbatch is a genuine, made-up English name to take the piss. Yeah, absolutely yeah, it is. It's a real thing. Yeah. Mm. 1999, the 86 Tour de France. Lance Armstrong wins one of seven consecutive titles, but is later disqualified for doping. Oh. So you were like, this guy cannot be real. He's just too good to be true. And it was correct. Yeah. He doped. Yeah. Yes. A lot. He's a drug cheat. A lot. A lot. And you saw him using EPO? <clears throat> I had, yeah. I also received some from him. You know, rather than go into entire detail of every single time I've seen it, it yes. I saw Lance Armstrong using drugs. And, and then he yeah. came out on Oprah and it was almost like he, he thought that he was going to get forgiven. Yeah. But no one forgave him. I know. But he raised a lot of money for cancer. I also don't think, like, to be fair, a lot of cyclists do do the doping thing, don't they? Yeah, well, I mean, you've got to find, because there's new ways to mask doping. Right. Yeah. When was the last, 13, 24, 10, <laughs> when was the last time you blood doped? <laughs> when, when was the last time you inserted oxygen into your blood? <laughs> to give yourself the competitive edge <laughs> over your rivals. <laughs> and you don't have to be a sports person. It can be, like, you can be a mum just trying to get through a Monday. Yeah. Blood do <laughs> <laughs> Energy boost. <laughs> Toddlers, man, they can take it out of you. Sometimes you need a little bit of EPO just to get you through. Exactly right. 1993 romantic comedy Sleepless in Seattle is released starring Tom Hanks and Meg Ryan. Of course, uh, Tom Hanks gets stranded uh, for weeks and weeks and eventually he builds a raft uh, and then he gets out into the open sea and, and forms this unbelievable friendship with Wilson, who's actually yeah. just a volleyball. He's just a and volleyball. Ev- <laughs> and then eventually he gets found, mm. but Wilson floats away. Mm. Great movie. It, yeah. Not and sure he, what Meg Ryan was doing. I don't remember also, seeing her. I was going to say, he also falls in love with Meg Ryan, but whatever. <laughs> you do you. Oh, it's cast away. <laughs> oh, it's cast away. Classic. Number one song on July 25, 2000. Kryptonite by Three Doors Down. Oh, are we playing that? It's a good song. Go on then. There you go.